because I'm hungry. Ain't nobody got time for that. Keep going. going. My dog had to get put down. Is my chicken having an aneurysm? Who is that? Mercedes! Shush! That's what I thought. <sighs> Hello my babes, I am back. I am so excited to be back guys because this week we did a Pamela Reef workout every day for seven days. I had countless requests to do Pamela Reef's ab workout. And I had no idea who she was, so I did a little searching and Pamela Reef is a German fitness influencer who has an insane amount of views. She has an insane six pack. She has a bunch of like 10 to 20 minute workouts on her channel. All of them seem to be very, very popular. I looked at this ab workout and it has 37 million views. So it must be good, right? <laughs> the workout that I decided to do once every day was her 10 minute ab workout. I will link it in the description box. This was the only workout that I did of hers and I did it once a day for seven days to be particular with it. I have honestly lost so much of my fitness capacity over Christmas. Like a lot of other people, I gorged my food <laughs> and put on a little bit of weight and that is completely okay. It is totally normal to gain weight over Christmas and have fun in your holidays and have some treats. And of course, here is my before. So I get a lot of comments about me putting on weight in between challenges. Some people even say that I do it on purpose. I wish I had that much control over my weight, but the truth is I just put on weight sometimes. I put on weight over Christmas. My weight fluctuates, it always has. So this is what we're starting with and I'm not unhappy with it at all. It is me and I am beautiful before and after. Okay, now that we have that sorted out, let's get in to the day one workout. Now trust me, by no means did I think this workout was going to be a walk in the park, but god, Pamela really played me because I was hurting in all kinds of places. Pro tip, make sure to roll out your workout mat prior to working out or else it will literally be scraping against your bare skin your entire workout. Not to be dramatic or anything, but this was honestly the longest 10 minutes of my entire life. Oh. Through my crippling injury and a lot of confusion, I managed to persist and finish the workout for day one. And boy, was I glad. So now it was the end of the workout and we had a problem. I still didn't have abs yet, so I looked on the internet to search why this might be and apparently abs start in the kitchen. So I decided to try some recipes from Pamela's cookbook. So Pamela actually has a couple of books and I bought one of them on Amazon. You can get it on Kindle for iOS, which is an app. And it's called You Deserve This, Simple and Natural Recipes for a Healthy Lifestyle. I'm gonna make the creamy one pot risotto and it seems quite easy. It doesn't, oh, it apparently takes about 45 minutes in total. Well, hindsight's a bitch, isn't it? Because this ended up taking me the longest it has ever taken me to cook a singular meal. For some reason, brown rice is just not a risotto rice and it took so long, I would say three hours. So I would not recommend using brown rice for a risotto, stick to risotto rice. It's pretty straightforward to be honest if you've made risotto before, but I used my pool chop to put in some garlic and onion because it did not have any garlic and onion in it, which I think should be a crime. 
It also had no seasoning. It only had salt and pepper. So I decided to add a vegan chicken stock cube. This recipe had like no rice in it. I realized after weighing it out. So I ended up just dumping a load of rice in it, which in hindsight may have affected the cooking time. And maybe that's why it took so long, but I'm just gonna blame it on the brown rice. <laughs> And after a very, very, very long time, here is how it turned out. I don't know if Pamela cooked this herself because God, this took so long. It tasted good though, I'll give her that. I topped it with peanuts and some parmesan and at least it was yummy. Okay, it is day two of my Pamela Reef challenge. I'm not looking forward to this. My abs are so sore from yesterday. So. workout that's quite enough of you Pamela I am so sore Randy's drinking water we'll wait this like this Kmart fitness mat is actually pretty good it doesn't stretch at all like my other one it stays in place and it's nice and plush that was so hard because my abs are so so sore from yesterday I don't think I've ever had abs Hi Randy. I don't think I've ever had abs this sore in my life. It hurts the whole way down. It hurts at the top, the middle and the bottom. So I know I was working every single part of my abs. I mean like, I don't have a six pack yet, but I think I'm getting there. I, I think like give it five more days. That was super duper hard. Super duper hard. I managed to convince Murray to do the Pamela Reef workout with me today, so let's get into it. Let's get physical, physical. The reason I wanted Murray to do this workout so bad with me is because I am super competitive and I love to win. So I just wanted to see me destroy Murray at this workout. He's also in the army, so he is fit as anything. And I wanted to see if he actually struggled with this, which he did. And I was so happy to see it. I was like smiling the entire time doing this. He is actually at basic training for the army reserves at the moment. So I don't get to talk to him for five weeks. So I am missing him so much whilst watching this, but look at me beat his ass at this workout. Keep going. Feel good. Fit couple goals, bestie vibes only, bestie vibes only. Honestly, I think the army should have taken me instead because look at this absolute slacker and then there I am tearing it up. Uh, too much longer. Okay, maybe I lied. I did take some breaks as well, but it's the thought that counts. Fit couples. I just got her legs down so far. Oh, no. What the f***? <laughs> 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 yeah. <laughs> Woo! We did it! <sighs> I'm literally dripping sweat right now. This workout is no joke. Day four guys, let's get it. I still don't have abs, so I guess they kind of like start forming in the final two days. I've been putting this off all day. It is like, it's 6 p.m. and I'm finally doing this. So let's do it.
It didn't feel like it went for so long today. That actually was not too bad. And I managed to hold the exercises for most of the time that Pamela was doing it. Nothing gets between me and my AK. Good morning, guys. So this morning I want to try one of Pamela Reeves breakfast recipes and I'm going to try her chocolate raspberry pudding with chia seeds because I'm really in the mood for chocolate and if this tastes any good I'm going to make it all the time. I'm not sure if this is supposed to be like a breakfast or dessert. <laughs> I didn't even check which part of the book it came from. It says breakfast bowls. It's a breakfast bowl. Okay. First thing I need to do is in a bowl mix chia seeds, cocoa powder, salt and cinnamon. We'll do Pamela. 15 grams of chia seeds. I do not like how all of this stuff is measured in grams. I can't be bothered to get the scale out half the time, just tell me it in like spoons and cups, you know? Love you, Pamela, but I guess it's like, it's a health thing because she wants to make sure that you have the exact amount so you're not going over the calories, but ain't nobody got time for that. So I've got my little scale here. I'm gonna be measuring everything out. There we go, that's exactly 15. Fun fact, one time one of my friends had chia seeds in her water bottle and sprayed it on me and my mum had to spend hours picking individual chia seeds out of my school jacket. One pinch of salt. Pinch. I am super excited to try out a different breakfast because my breakfast for the last two months has just been this muesli, which I love, this Carmen's fruit muesli with oat milk, this oat milk, minor figures. Sponsor me minor figures, I freaking love you. And a banana, and that has been my breakfast every single morning. And I'm not gonna lie, I'm kind of getting sick of it. So I'm excited to try something new. Half a ripe banana. What am I supposed to do with the other half? I guess I'll just eat the other half. <laughs> Cause I'm hungry. 25 grams of avocado. Could not tell ya how much 25 grams is gonna be. I'm gonna cut off a quarter. Oh my God, that's 50 grams. Are you joking? That is 26, that's close enough for me. That's really like no avocado at all. Why did I say no like <laughs> Canadian person? No. It's not smooth. Was it supposed to be smooth? Until creamy. But it just goes right to the sides because there's like nothing. Man. That's what it looks like. So I guess we'll just add this in like it said and mix it together. This is so interesting so far. Is there a fly? Could have used a little bit more blending. And then I asked for coconut milk. I don't know if I was supposed to get coconut milk in a can, but I did. Creamy coconut milk. Well, this just says coconut milk, but hopefully it works the same. I loathe entirely. Loathe entirely. Opening cans. Oh my god, bitch. Me. Okay, got it. It always does that. I'm gonna do like a splash. Oh yeah. If desired, add some date syrup, maple syrup, or honey. Mmm. Oh, add the sweetener. Why is it so good? Pamela, you've outdone yourself. I wish I had more though. <laughs> I wish I had a bigger serving. Okay, I'm gonna put some blueberries on top. I feel like when it comes to bowls and stuff, Pamela knows what she's doing. This is a very unique breakfast and it is delicious. And I say 10 out of 10 for this one. The risotto was probably like, <sighs> look at that. It is like a beautiful crescent moon. I need to get a close up of this. How beautiful. Does that look, like you can't tell me that does not look gorgeous, guys. Mm. That 
That is so good. I wish I had made a bigger batch of it so I could have it for dessert tonight. Now it was time to work out. Not quite sure why I look like a literal chimpanzee here, but I was slathered in coconut oil. That's why my hair looks so greasy. I was doing a mask. And let's just say I wasn't feeling the most energized this morning. So most of my workout was spent lying on the ground and yawning. Yeah. Not the most productive day of all, but I did end up finishing the workout. And even though I took breaks, I finished it. So as long as you get through it, that's all that matters, guys. I really didn't want to do that today. <sighs> a couple days later I'm not gonna lie because unfortunately my dog had to get put down we're old Randy we love Randy he was 15 and he was sick he had a tumor which is really common apparently so I just took a couple days off just because I wasn't feeling too good I was grieving but I'm ready today to get back into it just had some sourdough it was delicious <laughs> and now I'm ready to do the challenge. So let's go. I can't believe it's the second last day. Feels like I've been doing this for like a month. Tonight I'm gonna make one of her recipes. I'm in a massive mood for pasta right now, so I'm gonna try making her lentil bolognese. Bolognese? Bolognese? Bolognese. It is dinner time, which is the best time of the night. I am craving pasta right now. So I'm gonna try Pamela's lentil spaghetti recipe. I make a pretty good vegetarian spaghetti. Let me just say that. So if this lives up to my spaghetti, then she's doing something right. It does have olives in it. And I've just checked, my olives are gone. I did not eat them. Dad, I'm looking at you. Okay, so we need lentils, capsicum, mushrooms, carrot. It doesn't ask for garlic. But like, who doesn't put garlic in pasta? Tomato passata, which I had no idea what it was, but it's literally just like red tomato spaghetti sauce. <laughs> Lentils, I said that already. Pa this is just spaghetti. I got it the angel hair variety. <laughs> Perfectly minced onion. No tears, no nothing, none of that. Literally life-changing. Okay, it very specifically asks for 50 grams of each vegetable. 50 grams of mushrooms, which is literally two mushrooms. Okay, 
Yep, that's 50 grams of capsicum. Okay, so that is one serving. And then it asks for me to chop those up. Why chop when you can pull chop? Shardies like a melody. That literally worked flawlessly. Oh my God, I love this thing. I just cut myself with the pull chop. Please be careful with your pull chop or you will hurt yourself. Apparently I've just opened a whole thing of lentils to put 25 grams in, which is this much. So anyway, 200 grams of tomato passata. I mean, I don't know how you're gonna call it a lentil pasta when there's five lentils in there, but anyway. But yeah, so I guess that's one serve of pasta, so you have to multiply it if you want to make multiple servings. I'm not good at math. Okay, now I just have to cook my pasta and then I think we put it all together at the end. So this is what happens when you try to weigh pasta with a scale. I think I did it wrong. I've looked at the recipe and it says that it serves two. So we'll see what it looks like when it's done. But apparently it is supposed to have 460k calories per serving. So that's like hella low for a dinner. This is so much less pasta than I would usually eat. But I think I just have really big servings of everything. So I'm just waiting for that to cook now. And we will try it out and see if it's any good. Okay, it is done. She says to put nutritional yeast flakes on top as a cheese substitute. This was half of the pasta. This seems like a very small portion for me. I feel like those people on Super Size are super skinny and I'm the super size person looking at super skinny's food. And I'm like, girl. <laughs> so I couldn't survive on that small, tiny amount. <laughs> like, all I gotta say is no wonder she has abs because this just does not seem like enough food for me. But I guess that's why I don't have abs. Mmm. I'd eat this again. It's actually pretty good. It's not as good as my spaghetti that I usually make. But it is jar sauce. Which usually isn't very nice. For like a quick dinner. It's actually pretty good. I don't mind this. I'd give it a 7 out of 10. But I know that I would want seconds. Like, I think I could eat the whole two serves. Okay, I'm gonna wait five minutes and see if I'm still hungry. Because I just finished it. Okay, it's been five minutes. I drank some water. And I am full, actually. So, but I don't know how long that's gonna last. I feel like I would get hungry again in like an hour. It is und final day of the challenge. It is day seven of this challenge. I thought it was never gonna end. I am so excited. I am so excited to finish this challenge. I feel so accomplished. This was hard. Let's just get into it. No more talking. It's time to finish this bad boy. Oh my God, I just realized this alcohol right there. Okay, so now I am at the end of the challenge and here are my final thoughts. 
did I get abs after one week of doing the Pamela Reef ab workout? No. And I don't think you would get abs doing any ab workout for one week. I mean, I know that's pretty obvious for most people, but there is not one workout that is gonna give you abs in one week. It's all about what food you were eating and maintaining your workouts for a long period of time. Do I think that these are good workouts? I think they're amazing workouts. I believe Pamela also has workout plans where she tells you what workouts to follow each day for a set number of weeks. So maybe in the future, I will do one of her workout plans. I'm super happy that I tried out her recipes. I loved the chia pudding. It was amazing. I mean, I see why Pamela is so successful in what she does because she is so good at it. Her workout videos are really, really easy to follow. They really burn like you were totally getting a workout. I love that I could actually feel it working. I've got a rock hard six pack under here, guys. It's just covered by fat right now. Give it a few weeks. <laughs> but yeah, I loved these workouts. I highly recommend checking out Pamela's channel. I will link it down below. If you guys find that you have to take breaks within the workout, I think that's okay. Just go at your own pace. But I just love that we have access to all these amazing online programs for working out now, especially with coronavirus. So it's amazing what you're doing, Pamela. If you're seeing this, mwah, lots of love. I hope you liked my video. <laughs> For my results, I really don't think there was much of a difference to be completely honest, but it was one week. I mean, in all honesty, you are not gonna see that much of a difference in one week. That's just facts. Okay guys, if you have any other workout challenges you would like to see me do, then comment them down below. I would love to see your suggestions. Also, make sure to follow me on Instagram at Todd. Like this video if you enjoyed it and subscribe if you haven't already and join our family of all shapes and sizes you're welcome here. Okay, guys, thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in the next one. Mwah! Bye, my skinny queens. Mm -hmm.